Hello and welcome back to another video here on AV Forums. I'm Phil Hinton, I'm the editor and I have been since 2003. I'm also a fully trained and qualified THX and ISF audio and video calibrator. In this video we're looking at this, the Marantz SR7013 9.2 channel AVR. It does have 11.2 channel processing, you need to add a second stereo amplifier to this for the full 11.2 system but it does come with nine channels of amplification at 200 watts and it covers all the immersive audio formats so let's start by taking a look at the design the sr7013 is a full-size av receiver that follows the traditional marantz design language with a gloss central area and two outer matte textured ends to the front plate with a small circular window in the middle which displays basic information there's also a large input selector knob to the left hand side with the power button below to the right side is the volume dial and below all of this is a metal flap that hides another larger display with more detailed information as well as buttons and direction keys along with source inputs and outputs. There are Odyssey keys to the left of the display screen and direction pad with enter, back and setup keys to the right. Below these are buttons for movie, music and game presets as well as an info button, speaker switch, HDMI output and dimmer with a status button and zone select buttons rounding off the area below the screen. The inputs here include a USB slot, HDMI port along with composite video and RCA audio plugs. There's also a quarter inch headphone jack and setup mic jacks to the left of the video inputs. All that remains to the front of the AVR is the Marantz logo and model name, so it's all rather minimalist. To the top of the front plate in a glossy finished section are logos for all the features the SR7013 has on board and to the bottom are large isolation feet at each corner. The SR7013 is available in this black colour or the silver gold finish and around the back are the connections. With full-size AV receivers, the rear panel can be quite daunting for even the most advanced enthusiast, so it is nice to see that Morantz try and take some of the difficulty out of the process of setting up the SR7013 with a logical layout of connections and the speaker binding posts. The layout is intuitive and certain connection types are bundled together to make it easy to find what you're looking for. Going through the back of the SR7013, we have the digital audio inputs top left of the panel with two coax and two optical slots. Below these we have the triggers with 12 volt outs and RS232 control port and remote trigger slots. Further down and below these and across the centre are RCA audio inputs with five inputs for stereo analog devices and one phono stage with ground for a turntable. You then have 7.1 inputs two zone outputs and rounding off the RCAs are the 11.2 pre-outs. The video connections are all positioned to the top left of the back plate with seven HDMI inputs with an extra input on the front and there are also three outputs. All of the HDMIs are full bandwidth 18 gigabits per second 4K 444 compatible with support for HDR10, HLG and Dolby Vision HDR pass-through. There is also support for EARC as well as normal ARC, making the SR7013 one of the most up-to-date AV receivers on the market at the time of this review in May 2019. Below the HDMIs we have legacy video inputs which include composite and component inputs and outputs. The SR7013 also includes Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in with two antennas that screw into the back of the receiver to make sure signals are strong and uninterrupted. Rounding off the rear plate are the speaker binding posts that can accept 4mm banana plugs or bare wire. These are colour coded and inside the box you get a sheet of stickers that you can attach to your speaker wires. Then it's just a case of matching the colour coded wires with the correct binding posts. Those eagle eyed viewers will count a total of 11 binding posts here but there are only 9 amplifiers. This is because you can set up a 7.2.2 or 5.2.4 Atmos systems using the built-in amplifiers and why there are all those binding posts. 
Adding a separate two-channel amplifier will allow you to do a full 7.2.4 system and the processing is already in place on the receiver to do that. The Marantz also has a full setup assistant within the menu system which can take you through the full setup of the receiver so you make sure you're getting the absolute best out of it. The Marantz SR7013 features identical high current output amplifiers for all nine of its channels, with Marantz stating that power is 125 watts with two channels driven at 8 ohms and 165 watts with two channels driven at 6 ohms. The receiver will also handle 4 ohm loads, which is ideal as we will be using it with a full set of MK MP300 speakers that are 4 ohm loads. High performance AKM AK4458 192kHz 32-bit digital audio converters are also used for all channels with additional Marantz sound tuning that is claimed to help the musicality of the receiver. The SR7013 also has all the current immersive audio formats on board with Dolby Atmos, DTSX and Oro 3D all available when playing compatible software. You also have the DTS Virtual X for use when you don't use the overhead speakers and don't have them in place. And there is also IMAX Enhanced Audio, which is unlocked when you play suitable IMAX Enhanced Blu-rays into the SR7013. Multi-room audio is also supported with full HEOS compatibility built in, which allows you to connect with additional HEOS devices. There's also AirPlay 2, Bluetooth, Internet Radio, Spotify Connect, Napster, Amazon Music, Tidal, Deezer, and a lot more online music sources that include high quality streaming with gapless playback. Of course, there's also support for high resolution audio playback with compatibility for DSD at 2.8 and 5.6 MHz, as well as FLAC, ALAC and WAV support. There is also control with the free to use HEOS app as well as Alexa support. You also have the most advanced suite of Odyssey Multi-EQ X32 LFC with Sub-EQ HT and Dynamic Volume and EQ to make sure that the SR7013 is giving you every inch of the audio performance available. Finally, as we mentioned in the connections section, this is the most up-to-date receiver out there with all the HDMI inputs and outputs, supporting full bandwidth, 4K 444 60p video with HDR10, HLG and Dolby Vision pass-through, as well as EARC compatibility for future devices. So looking at the remote control that controls the SR7013 from Marantz, it is a little bit cluttered. Um, we like a bit more simplification when it comes to remote controls, especially when you're in a dark room. However, it does have a button for a backlight. Obviously, you can't see that because we've got all the lights on here at the moment, but it is backlit. The only thing with being backlit is that the, the name of the keys, the, the lettering is really, really small. Um, and when you're in the dark and you've got a backlight behind it, it is quite difficult to see what's going on. However, the remote control is broken up into various sections which make it easier to use. So at the top you have your power button and you're also able to control different zones and you have your device on and off and menu keys as well as a, a separate section here for your TV. So you could control almost everything through just the one remote control which does make things a little bit easier even though it's cluttered. Underneath this we have your sources so you can select your sources whether that's a source player or whether that's internet radio or the HEOS app uh, you can uh, select that up here and then under that in the center of the remote control where you're most likely to be holding it and where your thumb can easily reach in here you do have your your main directional keys your enter key option setup back and info so that's all around there you then have device control so if you have it connected with a device either through hdmi cic then you can control it here you got your play your forward skip buttons and all that kind of thing there you also have down here four selection keys um, where you can program each one so when you select say button one it will select the blu-ray player the odyssey and reference mode and set your system up the way you like it there. Whereas two could be for two channel stereo, so it'll switch Odyssey off, it'll put it into pure mode and, and so on. So you've got four of those buttons there. You then have colored keys underneath that. Um, and each of those also, uh, you can go into movie or music or game or pure and flick through the different 
DSP modes within those selections. And then under that, you've got button keys. So um, it sits neatly in the hand. It is made of plastic. It is a bit light. I mean, it's got the batteries in here now and it, it does feel a little bit light. However, at the price point, and it does everything here and you can control other devices. We think the remote control really is quite nice with this unit. The menu system on the SR7013 is easy to follow and intuitive with all the access you would need to customize and set up the receiver. For new users, there is the setup assistant that takes you through the various areas of setup to make sure you're getting the absolute best from the Marantz in your system and in your room. There are more in-depth menus where you can manually set up your speaker configuration and input your own distances, volumes, along with the crossover points. If you want to get your setup accurate to your room, you can then move on to the Odyssey Mult-EQ X32 LFC, which has sub-EQ HT and dynamic volume and EQ, which makes sure that the SR7013 is giving you every inch of audio performance. This uses a calibrated microphone to take measurements and then adjusts the volume and distances, as well as the crossovers to make sure you're getting the absolute best from your system sound quality. We start this process by building a cardboard mic stand or you can use your own tripod and use these to position the microphone within the listening position for a number of sweeps so the software can then build up an idea of your room acoustics and set the levels correctly. The cardboard mic stand starts with a base that is easy to slot together and you can find the full guide by watching our NR1509 review video. Next, you need to position the tripod and mic at the listening position at ear height. The software will then take you through a series of measurement cycles where test tones are played from each speaker in turn with measurements taken and these are then processed once you've completed the cycle the system wants. The software then calculates the results and applies these to the speaker settings. Thankfully with the high-end multi-EQ system we have here from Odyssey, with LFC and the sub-EQHT, we can set the subwoofer and low frequencies correctly, which is not possible in the lower down models. And now you're all set to make full use of the SR7013. We lived with the SR7013 for around a month and feel like we only really scratched the surface of what this AV receiver is capable of. We use the calibrated and uncalibrated sound modes for multi-channel audio as well as stereo testing and we enjoyed every minute of it. We tested the Marantz in our reference system with a good mix of movies in 5.1, 7.1 and immersive formats as well as a mix of streamed music in two channel and it performed extremely well. The room is a dedicated cinema room which is 19 feet long by 16 feet wide and with a 9 foot ceiling. It has some treated surfaces to the front and side and a more reflective live sound to the rear of the room. What is immediately apparent with the SR7013 is the headroom we have available even when driving tricky loads like our M&K speakers. With busy multi-channel soundtracks where all the speakers are in use, there is an excellent dynamic range and weight to the sound where you never feel like it's starting to run out of steam, even at silly volume levels. Fast transients are also excellent with instant power available for large volume sweeps and dynamics. Dialogue is always rooted to the centre of the mix and intelligible, even with busy sound mixes and voices have a really nice weight and realism. While its bread and butter is action, sci-fi and fantasy soundtracks with big boombastic sound designs, the SR7013 is also a very musical AVR, which is equally at home with sweeping jazz scores like La La Land with excellent reproduction of the jazz, brass and biting snare of the drummer, and sweeping strings are never sibilant, and again vocals are handled with excellent realism and power. Processing performance from the Marantz is also superb with excellent effects and sound placement within the immersive sound stage of the opening race of Ready Player One. There is no score so the sound stage is entirely generated from scratch. Well known sound effects of the T-Rex, Kong and the DeLorean are mixed effortlessly with familiar video game effects as well as environment engines and explosions that pull you straight into the action. Sadly, there is a lack of IMAX enhanced titles available, especially movie titles, so it was difficult to notice any real difference with the format using the demo discs currently on sale and that we have to hand. The receiver certainly does recognise the IMAX flag and sets the DTSX codec support for the extra layer promised with such soundtracks, but we really couldn't tell any difference, but it is early days for the format. We will of course cover this in more depth soon. 
Overall, we had absolutely no problems with the Marantz SR7013, which was able to perform to extremely high levels and create exceptionally wide and detailed and entertaining sound fields with movies and music. So that just about wraps up our review of the Marantz 7013 AVR. Like we say in the review, it has uh, plenty of options, plenty of features, it has all the immersive audio formats on there, so Dolby Atmos, DTSX, as well as Oro 3D. You also have IMAX Enhanced, and it's about the only thing under the IMAX Enhanced umbrella where there are uh, changes to be made when, it, when you play a disc. If it is IMAX Enhanced, it will open up uh, another section of DTSX for that. Um, you know, it will drive plenty of channels. You can add another two channel amplifier on here and get your full 7.1, sorry, 7.2.4 uh, Atmos. It'll do 7.2.2 out of the box. It has a really nice remote control. And overall, for the, uh, the value for money, uh, the performance level, the build quality and everything else, we think this is a highly recommended product. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And why not click the notification bell to find out when our next review is available.